All right, it is time to mount this Leupold Mark V optic on my Kdex defense rifle. So what I'm gonna use is an American defense mount. I prefer using an American defense or a LaRue mount instead of typical scope rings because sometimes I move a scope from one rifle to another rifle and for me it just seems easier to uh, move them in a mount and i also like to put my scope in the mount and level it in the mount before i place it on the rifle so with that said it's time to get started on this so i'm going to take all the screws out first and then i'm going to place the scope in the mount All right, now that I've got uh, the scope rings apart, it's time to put the scope into the ring. So I'm gonna turn this around so I can keep everything uh, together. And so when I put the scope into the mount, I want the levers on the left-hand side. So it's staying away from my ejection port. So what I'm gonna do is just get these started to hold it in place, and then I'll get the scope situated inside of this mount where I want it. So in this mount, with an optic this big, there is not a lot of room to slide the optic forward or backwards inside of the mount to adjust your eye relief. So I'm not that worried about it because I'm mount, mounting it on a Kdex rifle that has a one piece rail on the top. So I can adjust my eye relief by sliding um, the scope or moving the entire mount and scope forward or backwards on the pick rail until I get my proper eye relief set. Some mounts have the cantilever portion on it. Sometimes they have a little bit more between the rings. So since I'm not gonna be using that um, to adjust my eye relief, I'm gonna try to get this set about equal distance inside these rings. So that looks pretty good. Now I need to level it. And what I'm gonna do for leveling it, what I'm gonna do for leveling it is I'm gonna use this little kit here. Uh, and I got that online. So what I'm able to do, slide this piece in here slide the small wedge in with that square facing up and what that is going to do now that that's in there that is holding this level so I don't have to worry about as I tighten the scope rings down 
that the scope is going to rotate. Something to be aware of on the American Defense mount. You want to tighten your two screws on each mount first and torque them down to the recommended specifications of 20 to 25 inch pounds. Also, on your ring screws, do not use Loctite. Uh, American Defense says the use of Loctite will ruin the threads and damage the, um, will damage the threads and void the warranty. So, be sure and use the enclosed thread locker provided uh, from American Defense. So now that I have my scope level with my wedge, I'm gonna turn this around so I can see what I'm working on. I'm gonna take my bottom screws out, put some thread locker on them, and then torque them down to the required specification. And the tool that I'm using for this is um, fix it sticks T handle that this is the ratchet T handle 25 inch pound torque limiter so I'm opening the thread lock right here put just a little bit on the threads All right, before I torque that down, definitely want to make sure that my level wedge is still in there. All right, that bottom is torqued down. Uh, level wedge fell out, so I'm gonna put it back in there. All right, so I've got my level wedge back in, and it is in place. So I'm gonna take my top screws out, put some thread locker on them. Got one ring to set done.
All right, now they're both in with thread locker on. And they are torqued. Now I'm going for the top screws. Something I did mention earlier, when I'm tightening these top screws, I wanna go back and forth so I close that gap up evenly on the top. I don't wanna tighten one all the way down and close that gap all the way. I wanna do a little bit at a time and watch that gap. Okay, I got to hit my torque limit. Got my torque limb, I'm gonna go back and check. Then I like to go back and check them all to make sure. All right, so now I wanna take my wedge out. And sometimes it's in there pretty tight. So I'll give it a little tap. There we go, it's coming out. All right, now the scope is mounted in the mount and it is ready to install on the rifle. All right, so fortunately for me, setting this up goes fairly quick because I'm not building a gun from the ground up. I've got my optic mounted in my mount and now it is sitting on the rifle. I haven't locked uh, the scope into place yet. So I shoot a lot from the prone position. And for me, I prefer to set my eye relief in the prone position. And then I will check it when I get to the range from shooting off a tripod or improvised positions to make sure that my eye relief will work no matter what position I'm shooting from. So when I, I'm checking to make sure my eye relief is good, I wanna be on my highest power. If I do uh, check my eye relief on the lowest power, uh, a lot will look good and I can be off a significant amount. And then when I crank it up to high power, I have a lot of scope shadow everywhere. So I'm on 25 power behind the rifle and I have no scope shadow. When I can just lay my head down behind the gun, no scope shadow just in the position that I normally shoot. My cheek piece is already built up because I have an adjustable cheek piece on this Kdex chassis. My length of pull is already set. So the next thing that I would need to do is focus the reticle to my eye and then I'm ready to go. One quick thing I wanna show you first before I do, I need to lock this down. So if you look how hard I've got to push in on this American Defense mount, it's not that hard. This one I had a little more pressure than the first one, but I should be able to, when I press the release, open uh, this without having to use a pry tool or anything like that. So that is the end of this video. I hope that if you're looking to mount an optic, that this will give you some guidance and help you work through it. Just keep in mind, I left several steps out because I'm mounting a, a scope on a rifle that is already built for me. Uh, I'm not starting from the ground up. I didn't have to build my cheek piece up and my eye relief already knew where the scope went. So I set it on um, the rail, got behind it, verified it, and it's good to go. So if you like this video, be sure and give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel so you'll be notified when all our new videos come out. Thanks for watching.